Hey. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice How's to see you. How's it going? Good. We're live here, guys. Say hello, Louis Thoreau. I, I told him we had a special guest today. But that was me? That was you, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So we're going to stream a little bit. We're here in Clearwater, Florida. It's beautiful. We're going to go talk to some people, do some IRL. And uh, I think we should stay for the sunset here, and then we'll uh, you know, switch locations. And cool. Are we all right to put a mic on yeah. you? Yeah, okay, let's it. do that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, what's up? What's up, baby? How's it going? Hey, good. Are you, good. Are you, are you in charge? No. no, no where's Hulk Hogan? Nobody here. I was going to be like... <laughs> Guess they recognize me out here. This bar is owned by Hulk Hogan. Is it? Yeah. It's Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Yes. So someone just... <laughs> Donated this song. The whole song. Okay, hold on. Two dollars. Good friend sent two dollars. Listen up, Mr. Louis Theroux. Okay. I need you to make our boy look real good on this documentary. Yeah. No tricks, no clever editing. <laughs> Are we clear? Yeah. Come on. That's a demand. That was two dollars. So basically, he spent two dollars to say that. Yeah. So yeah, this is how, as IRL streamers, this is how we make our money. People donate and it comes out of the speaker. Just like that. When I checked, you had a bottle. Pokemon sent $2. Hey, Louie, big fan. My favorite documentary was when you exposed Jimmy Seville as a necrophiliac. We got hundreds of children. Is that real? Oh, wait. That's not what happened. <laughs> you whitewashed his reputation like the loss of the BBC when everyone knew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't really know. There's no filter. Yeah. I'm making Hi, money now. Yeah, five you. dollars, yo, Yoba. Yo, Yoba, what's Is up, dude? He's saying that if I, by some quirk, by some quirk of fate, if I was sent into this cell, Is that you? You'd see me, and presumably you would know that I was not cut out to fight. And you're seriously saying that? <laughs> He's so uncomfortable. I love it. You might just stop. You might, you might hang out on you. You might hang out on you. Might just get party. You might get bang out, man. You're saying I wouldn't have to fight. Oh, you go? No, you go on the fight. I'm saying the whole cell might beat you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The what whole uh, might what beat episode you. is this? Shit, Where that's the code. Know. I don't know. That's oh, okay. what I'm trying to tell you. You go out to figure out why. Is that like a? Would you be helping? I'm gonna now, raise I the prices now. So it's. Uh, so we get less of two these. Rides, okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> Why? You are. You are. Right 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 exactly. <laughs> I'm making you money. You're making me money. What do you mean, Alaska? Yeah. Why? Why? Because Tell I me think what you represent is bad. What do, what do I represent? Like the bad parts. Of <laughs> what do I represent? The bad give, give me one example. Them. Yeah, give me one example. Like the right. Like uh. Give me one. You're saying fuck Alaska. Give me one example, bro. Like the alt right. I don't. I don't associate with the alt right. What the f are you talking right about? Associates with you. No, they the don't. Right no, they, they don't. They what? hate me. They're, they they're hate the me. Your You're retarded. Videos. No, they're not. They are. No, my not my people like no, me. my fans are America first. Yeah, yeah, I associate with America Nick Fuentes. America first is kind of yeah. like a dangerous mentality. Why not Yikes. every like? What? But what are you into? Who do you like? Bernie Sanders. I'm a big Bernie. Yikes! Yeah, like, yeah you're you're. Can I get a picture so. with you? No, no, you can't. You know, I, no, you can't. No, you can't. No, no. You're in my broadcast. Get the out here. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Step back. Step back. Step back. Get the fuck out of here. This is my production, not yours. You're a little I, I bitch. You're a little bitch. I don't give a shit. Get the fuck out of here. I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, you friend. do. Are you going to hit me? Well, you're, no, I'm not going to hit you. Going, well, then what's no. the point of yelling at me? Get out of here, dude. Because this is my I don't want to ruin I, I didn't mean to ruin whatever you guys wanted to watch because I'm a Louis Thoreau fan. He can stand there, yeah. I just wanted to watch. I'm a fan of Louis Thoreau. Well, he came out here dissing me, so I'm throwing it back at him. He said, and it's my first amendment, right? To say yeah. him, he's a yeah. stand there. Yes, you can stand there. You used to have a picture of baked of, of anonymous in three dollars. Louis set this up so that I did it. No, I did not. No, that, this no, that, this happens no, that was the person next to me. That was no, not. everyone says that's yours. No, you're if you're making was, up fake that news. That was in the New York Times. No, it wasn't. It was. No, it wasn't. I read it on the way. Well, that's fake news. Okay. I I swear to God. I what? Yeah. How about fuck Joe Biden? How about summer? Yeah. Woo! Biden. And this guy, this guy supports things like that. She is he, a he's a liberal. She is a yeah, he's a liberal. He's a liberal. He's a liberal. Boo, boo. Some of them are okay, but 
Yeah. Yes. Libtard. Yes. Libtard. yes. But you know what? Yeah. My service animal. Yeah, I love it. Hey, let's go. MAGA, baby. Let's go. Let's keep walking around, guys. Hey, Louie. I met you out of fact. Hey. I was a little bit rude to you, and I just wanted to say that if I meet you again, you'd be downright nasty. Fuck you, I'm a fuck, get the fuck out of the United States, you scum sucker. They said they met you at AFPAC. <laughs> and what did they say after that? If they see you again, like something, something. <laughs> something like that, yeah. <laughs> The, um, when we, when I was watching you earlier, you only had about a hundred viewers. Though. Yeah. And now you're up to what? Two hundred. Two forty. Yeah. Yeah. So the issue has been the deplatforming really hits you hard. So when you were in the capital, yes. you had more than ten thousand. I had almost twenty thousand live. Yeah. Twenty thousand. Yeah. But that's on that was on Z Live with all my subscribers. I'm really the biggest fan. I wrote the song about Louie. You wrote the song about Louie. Louie was in a gay porno, by the way. I'm going to you like yesterday. Yeah. I, well, I'm, I'm actually sober. Listen, listen. Yeah, so we're sober. Yeah, so we're sober. Say that you need the pit yeah. right? Okay, the yeah. beautiful. I did the 12 okay. steps, yeah. Okay, say that you need the pit hole, right? Are you a pit bull? Okay, choice? does it matter? Uh, I'm asking mainly you, alcohol. I'm asking Justin Craig. Okay. But yeah. You should get the salad. Yeah. Justin Craig. Hey, we got some Cubans out here. Mexico. USA, baby. Yeah. yeah! Trump Trump 2024! Yeah! yeah. 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 Low, Vote for Trump! What was racist? Calling us Cubans. I asked, I asked. No, you could have asked. I asked! Yeah. I said, are you Cuban? No. You just hey. assumed. You guys know Louis Thoreau? You heard of this guy? We're, fil we're filming him. Yeah. What are you doing? No, I'm from London, England. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's all about this guy. Where are you guys from? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, we gotta go. What's up, guys? All right, guys, that was the special guest, if you didn't guess. So. Hey, Chad. Louis Thoreau's here. How many, uh, how many followers and subscribers do you have? Like 20,000. Really? Yeah. What's your username? Fake Alaska. Huh? Fake Alaska. I don't know uh, what you said, but... Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> have a good day. Okay, so you're on 300. You've been streaming for three hours. Yeah, and you got 331 yeah. people yeah. watching live. Yeah. How, so and it's on YouTube. Yeah, it's on YouTube. I thought you'd been deplatformed from YouTube. Yeah, I have. So how? Are you I, I just make new channels all the time. Wow. Do Squidward send hundred dollars yoga? Let's go! Thank you so much! Oh sevens in chat. Doomer Squidward, thank you, homie. Well, no, I was just wondering because that was the first thing you said to him when you like. Flew, so you flew all the way to his house in Kentucky. You ask him about that, and then, and then he ends up kicking you out of the house. It looks like a joke to me. It looks like a joke. How would you? I mean, I mean that looks like like just like a. It's a, Ro it's a Roman like, salute. It's like a Roman salute, but it's like a joke. I, I don't think he's say like. Say it wasn't a joke. I just yeah. said he was doing it. How much? They keep spending more money, but that's. Tr sent five dollars. Hey, Louie, that's clearly photoshopped. You stupid boomer, get a. Job, I swear, journals are oh, the I guess worst they said it's <laughs> Baptists and three dollars. The BBC is leftist propaganda funded by a corrupt, occupied government. Global homo is evil, and diversity is destroying England. I would agree. Yeah. yeah I would agree. Who's occupying the government? Who? I'm, I'm asking. They said it's an occupied oh, shoot. government, but who's oh occupying? shoot, we're gonna miss the sunset. We should oh. go to the beach. All right, let's right go to the there. beach. It's right there. Yeah, let's go to the beach. You want to catch the sunset? Let's go. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. What? Yes. 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 What? Who's occupying the government? Which anyway? Which government? The British hey. government. I don't. I don't know shit about the British Walk government. Right. I really don't know shit about the British government. I know what you want me to say. <laughs> He's trying to bait me, but I don't know shit about the British government. <laughs> you can't keep a straight face. See, it's much harder being on stream when you can't edit everything out, right? Well, it's also good though. Yeah. Just, you know, I, think I want you to get the experience. This is part of the experience. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm glad you guys came out here. Okay, well, why don't we go over to the beach? Yes. One question they have is, why are you making an Antifa documentary, Lewis? Did you support Corbin too? Uh, it's not really. It's a documentary about, uh, I guess, America first and, and what they call the dissident right. Mm-hmm. 
And that's what this is? That's what we're doing. Is that what I'm in right now? Yeah, that's what you're in. Okay. And about kind of, I guess, deplatform, a deplatform right? You know, mm. there's a few different ways you could describe it. Yeah. The far right as it exists among young gamers. That, that kind of uh, general media. Mm. Do you acknowledge that, like, the the bar has been moved, it's like what was considered just kind of normal is now considered far right? Maybe, but I, would call, I think I'd call that progress, right? That, I, no, <laughs> no, like people are if, if, tolerant, if you... They're less, they're less bigoted, they're more open-minded. Well, I mean, you don't want to be tolerant of things that will, that are bad for society. You know, you don't want to be tolerant of like, hey, kids should... Kids should just cut off their dicks, you know? Jimmy Squidward sent $50. Let the Fed see. You'll be laughing to the bank. Thank you! Thank you for the $50. I appreciate it. What, did, what was the comment? Um, let the seethers seethe. Laughing all the way to the bank. So, thank you. Let thank the you. Feds, it? Let the Fed seethe, yes. How is your case we don't, going? It's going pretty good. Uh, we don't like the Feds. We don't... We are not fans of the FBI. They're threatening a felony if I don't uh, cooperate with them, basically. You know, I could face felony, but I'm willing to take that risk. With how much time on it? With what? How much time on it? Um, the charge would be obstruction of Congress, so that could be that could be three to like five years. Yeah, I don't want to do that time, obviously, but I don't think I would be um, convicted for that because it's it's just a bogus charge, you know. By the time I got into the Capitol filming. I believe people were already um, evacuated. Mm -hmm. And I believe uh, something came out like they were, people weren't even evacuated because of us being in there. It was, um, th they were basically evacuated prior to people even entering the building. That's what I'm saying. So. Right, the, you mean the congressmen were evacuated? Yeah. Congressmen. The reps? Yeah. Uh, am I in the documentary? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to edit me out of context? What's that? Will you edit me out of context and make me look like a goof? No. I don't know. You, you don't look like you never look like a goof. You're oh, a professional. Thanks, Stephen. Louis, Louis wants content. Online. Yeah, he does. This, so should we follow you? You lead yeah. the way. Yeah. Well, wait, wait. We, we were just out there making chaos, and you were like, "Oh, it's too loud. We need to." It's a, it's a. There's a happy medium, but a okay. little bit. It's good. Yes. So you're all in each other's content. You come out here. And basically, it's in the hands of the viewers somewhat. Yes. What takes place, they will ask you to do things. Very much and so. Donate in order to play certain songs. Yes. They seem to enjoy playing like, best risque and then sometimes outright racist material. Yeah. Is that fair? Yeah. What's that about? Shock value. They think it's funny. They think it's funny to see people react and us react to other people and try to explain. Obviously, we're not racist. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's it's comedy, it's edgy humor. They play whatever they can to make us uncomfortable. So they know that like these songs are gonna trigger people walking by and they're gonna freak out. And then we have to explain like, oh no, no, that was just a donation. And like people wanna fight us and all that. So so it is a risky business. Oh, oh you probably gotta scam that, yeah. yeah we scam those. Yeah, yeah. that's like a people ISIS like bomb, bomb timer, and we we skip those. Yeah, there's a guy we, named um, what's his name? What, Smooth Sanchez. No, no, the other guy. Arab Andy. A yeah, Arab Andy. He had a donation that like had a bomb timer doing IRL streaming, and, and he was in like a school, and they all ran out, freaked out, and he like went to jail for a year. It's different from the one in the restaurant where he goes in and this. Lip Tide eighty eight sent five dollars. Hey Louie, are you vaccinated like a good little boy? Are, yeah, are you yeah, vaccinated? Yeah, I'm double vaxxed. Double vaxxed? Time. He's gotta get okay. That'll save your life if you're older, barrier. especially like me. He took a twist. The house. Yeah! Let's go! Hell yeah. Oh, we like that guy. Hey. Donald that Trump. Guy? We love oh, Donald Trump. Trump, 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 Trump. What's a good night for you? Um, a good night, I'd say like a thousand bucks. Yeah. Do that? If you did that three nights a week, you'd be like, yeah. 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 And my record, I've made eight thousand in one night. But that's that's like an anomaly. That's like a really really good night. But didn't you make quite a lot when you um, went inside the Capitol? Yeah. Oh yeah. How much? In the Capitol, probably like one or two thousand dollars. It was kind of a short stream, but 
Yeah. Made some money. Fans really <laughs> like that German marching song. Earlier today, a guy came up and he was wearing pit vipers. Someone in the chat said, new character unlocked. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, the thing is... Hey Rumi, how was IT filming your DOC in Johannesburg? Was IT like Planet of Aids being around all those niggers? Were you scared of getting stabbed in your tight little dandy ass? Rui, how's IT feel being owned by Zog? Oh my god. Wow, you got some racist Oh my god, guys, be nice, be nice. Holy shit. You did, you did a documentary in Johannesburg? It's cool. Hey, Louie, if you, if you give us all a million dollars for this documentary, we'll stop accepting these sort of donations. See, then you'll be doing something good for the world. <laughs> deal? <laughs> it's a deal! It's a deal, yeah! Caesar says sent three dollars, Louie. You need to include Christian Weston Chandler in this documentary. He is one of the newest leading figures in the dissident right and one of the big attendees at the American Populist Union Summit. Oh yeah. Love ya. Yeah, you should reach out to Christian Chandler. Have you heard of him? Yeah. Who is he? He's like, he's really big in the dissident right and all that. Yeah. No, I don't think we've come across. Yeah, Christian. It's Christian Weston Chandler. There is no way six million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. Would have been based though. I disagree. It was, it was definitely, that sounds accurate. Um, it would have been based. So they're saying, I don't think six million died in the Holocaust, but it would have been great if they had. That's what that person said. I don't agree with that. Yeah. It's a kind of weird, it's not a cross section of like the broader society, is it? Like it's almost like a self-selected community of hard right trolls. Yes and no. I mean, there's not everyone is right wing, though. There's people that literally hate me. There's people that hate Trump. There's people that love Biden. So it's not really. But 90, well, more than half of it has been extreme racial. Hey, Louis, what do you think about the ADL having complete control over what people are able to post online? Plus, smile once in a while. Get that big stick out of your ass, you wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Louis sent three dollars. Hey Louis, how does it feel working for Satanic? Talmudic, baby penis suckers. Louis, you know we are all judged when we die. You gaslight baked Alaska that what Hess doing is wrong, but you work for the devil. You piece of shit, angle yellow teeth fag. <laughs> I, I heard that you worked for the MI6. Is that true? Yeah, that's, that's no. <laughs> I know. Louis, I salute you for dealing with these man children. <laughs> you are the finest professional in your craft and world renowned. Baked Nick and Wooza are losers with no life accomplishments and no ability to impact the world. Louis, it's Joe your boyfriend, now ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I can't believe you would do this to me. You starred in a gay porno without me. And with Tyrone too. <laughs> Thank you, Louis Fagu, I am going to talk to those Israeli handlers and get you fired. There you are! Hey, how's it going, man? How's it going? Good. Good Welcome stuff. to Soho. Nice. Have you been here before? No, I, I don't think I have. Yeah, it's kind of like a college town vibe. Nice. Pretty cool. How, How do you create content? Um, you ask people questions. You might press them a little bit. Push their buttons. Yeah, you might push their buttons a little bit. You know, depending. Doors without a mask and... <laughs> yeah. And kind of uh, cause a little mischief. Yeah, you know, a little fun mischief. Nothing crazy, but you know. I'm right thinking because you in the past you got in trouble for was it macing someone? Or yeah, I'm in a court case for that right for now. For spraying a bouncer. Yeah, for a bouncer. Yeah. Outside a club with mace. Yeah, we have a court date um, September 15th, I believe. So. Uh, do you have mace with you tonight? No. no, I'm not legally allowed to carry it right now because of your case. Yep. Are you white supremacist? No, of course not. You're not welcome well. to huh? I am welcome in Tampa. What do you mean? Do you like yes, I am. Huh? Yeah. Like yeah, I love everybody. Huh? I am welcome in Tampa. I live here. That's really? What? You don't know me. You don't know me. I know enough. I know enough. No, you don't. You believe fake news. You believe Wikipedia. You don't know me. We're not filming anything. What's going on? Amazing. And then you. Amazing. Do you like take a vaccine? Same sent three dollars. The nine props are coming. It's gonna be Louis versus the YTs. What is this? It's from one of my programs. Or something. 
Alright. Someone made a donation. We're about to do this like you yeah. never knew this. You guys give us a call on the jam line 260-9393. What is this one? Because I've seen a lot of them. Rap. Gangster rap in the Oh. So from what I can tell in a lot of your content, and forgive me if this is like a simplification. Yeah. But you get really drunk. Yeah. And then you'll go up to random people. Sometimes um, they're black and you'll use the n-word that's okay so that does happen it's not necessarily targeted I'm blackout drunk it doesn't really matter what race they are but if you notice and I'll ask you and you can be honest I never really I never like I'm never like oh you're this and that you're an n-word I ask them uh, some question or make some statement that has the n-word in it and yeah that happens and does that feel because to me that strike that strikes me as, as racist. I understand saying the word to some people is enough to call you a racist. I don't think that makes you a racist. It's more about a like a free speech type comedy shock value slash I wish we could just normalize the word in a different way with a different meaning. It's about freedom, you European cigarette. We will destroy your line of Brits again, fuck authoritarianism. Like when you hear it say you little Anglo Jew boy, I swear if you make our boy Lulz look like a neo Nazi. Lulz is a good man, he hate niggers, but that's okay. I don't know. Do you even hate niggers whether you believe it or not? How many black people are in your zip code, Lulz? Would you like to respond to that? Yeah, I'm not, I mean, it seemed pretty racist, that comment. No, I mean, so they specifically asked how many black people live in your zip code well, or your area. Do you have black neighbors? Yeah, I do. Okay, well that's that's probably a sufficient answer. If you want to say more, you can go ahead. That, that'll probably do. I don't, you know, okay. he's, got, he's obviously made up his own mind. That's true. Why does he say that you hate black people? Um, hmm. Well, I don't. I've said it before. I don't hate black people. I just hate, and then I'll say the N-word. Because I don't equate it to a race. I equate it to people who act a specific way, especially when I'm just trying to walk around and stream and talk to people and have a good time. But does that make sense? Not really. Not really? Louis, I know that you understand where I'm coming from. You I did the thing with the Nazis, right? For sure. Do you yeah. think we're as bad as the Nazis or do you think the Nazis were worse than us? It's very different. But the Nazis, well, the Nazis were dancing around swastikas, right? And, yeah. And throwing up Nazi salutes. Yeah, it's different. I mean, because a lot of what Nick Fuentes will say is to do with like the idea that Jewish people control the media and that um, well, we need more white racial consciousness. I don't want to be bad optics, but I mean, do you disagree? Do you yeah. think you do disagree? You don't think that, that a lot of Jewish people control the media? Yeah, I don't believe that. You don't believe that? Yeah. Well, I don't know how it is in the UK. I don't know enough about it, but there's definitely a lot of Jewish influence in our media. Would, are you what would be called an incel? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 Louie, no, Louie. No, Louie, I could have any girl I wanted. Are you a Catholic? I am not, I'm a Baptist. Walking up Practicing? Um, not really, I haven't been to church in a long time, but I absolutely identify with them and love Jesus Christ. We're here. Any more questions? Maybe that's pretty good. What do you think, Dan? Pretty good? Um, check your I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't be more useful as a Jew hater since I'm not one, but uh... You mentioned about America first. Yeah. Like that. You want to call it here? I think we're good. Thank you, brother. Hey, thank you. you. Yeah, you yeah, I know you're doing your job. You don't want to take that shot with me, Louis? I can't on my job. I got to stay focused. I understand, but I got to press you about it. They would press me about it. But let's be honest, do you, do you think I'm racist? I, I think you, you must be, right? No, you really think I'm racist? Yeah. Louie. How could you not be? You think I'm racist? I think I do, yeah. I'm not at all. But, if, but based on just everything you do, how could that... If you do enough racist things, then, you, then you're racist. You're talking so much smack so, about Yeah, well, yeah you were. You haven't said one positive thing about me. Yeah, it's, all, it's, all, it's all negative. You said we haven't been interested in your... We've been filming why, you why, do, why do you defend files? Jimmy Savile, Louie. If you knew anything about it, you know I make Jimmy two Savile. programs about Jimmy Savile, both of them exposing him. You don't know anything what the about the Jimmy Savile. What the BBC Savile. covered for him, you they said. Know. That's what yeah, I'm but saying. I made two programs exposing him as a.
so we're going to get the floor with it. I feel like you think that we haven't done a fair, um, we haven't made a fair fiscal screw you here. Yeah. 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 If you haven't. Because he said that wasn't content when we were in the bar. Why'd you say that? He said, why do you keep talking smack about me? What's smack? Trash. Like, what is uh, your opinion of me talking smack? That Lowell's is on your dick? That I was just making fun of Lowell's for... It was sneaky, I had a chat with Lowell's in the alleyway. Yeah, well, oh, you yeah. call, you you called my friend Lowell's a racist because we were all doing we were all doing stuff and we didn't know that we, that you went and did that. But he's not a racist. So that's my opinion. Okay, well we can have opinions too. Right, but I'm asking why he has that opinion, Stephen. I'm not trying to. Well, I, I don't say I don't think it's cool that. I thought it was a little. I don't think why? it's cool that you call my friend a racist because he's not. Why though? Because we were all at the bar and then you guys snuck away. With Lulz, and you went and did an interview. Well, we're that was How very we're much. We walked around. And, and the that's the thing. Like I thought this was just going to be about covering the live streams. Yeah. I thought we were done we with all the interviews. The I thought we were time. done with. I thought we were done with. Um, you know, manipulative sort of questions, and that we were just basically doing direct cinema approach to them live streaming. Yeah. Every time I'm actually streaming, you don't cover it. No, you don't. No, you're like this isn't content. Yeah, why don't you say something, you know, let's talk about racist stuff. Like, that's all you want to talk about. Your agenda's showing, dude. You work for a communist file network. I'm Steve Nash, brother. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah buddy. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Let's go. Hey. No, I feel like your feet get hot easily. Like, no, I feel like you're projecting. Your you're projecting. Was, your comment was, um, you're feeling it. Why say, like, wow, that was awesome content. What a great encounter. Be just yeah, because you're all negative. Because you're all negative. I haven't said anything negative. Yeah, well. you have. All you focus on is like, oh, well, you know, what you guys are doing is racist and this and that. You, d you don't look at me as a human. I have humanity too. When someone goes and looks at something that they say about me on Wikipedia, it says I'm not welcome in Tampa. You don't know how that how that feels. We were talking about which No, no, no. No, I'm saying that you only want to get bad interaction. You only want to get bad interaction. You filmed me all the way down to the beach. You filmed me all the way down. Even when it's so loud. Hey, Lowell told me you weren't filming at the bar. Just because Steven says, I sneak it. How is it sneaking? You're the one with the feelings, sir. No, no, I'm just saying that. You you got your panties in a butt. Like, we're just having, like, you can't take a Joke. Like, just hang out and have fun. We're in America. We're not in Britain, dude. Let's have fun. You don't like that people like me. You don't like that I'm a likable guy. You don't like that minorities think I'm cool. You don't like that hot girls make out with me. You're seething. You're a seething bitch. Look at you. Why would I? You're so jealous. I told you, I told you, you were likable. Then why won't you cover that? Why won't you cover that? No, you only want to cover the negative. The charisma speaks for itself. What do you want me to say like Bro, oh, you're so likable. You're so likable. You're Just so make it truthful. Well, how do you know Tell the truth. I don't know. Because you don't know. Yo, Steven, damn. You got called out by Louis. That's funny. He's seething. I can't believe you Like, dude, the funny... Okay, the funniest thing is he just got so trolled, he thinks that we don't know that he's watching the streams. <laughs> of course we know. We're literally baiting him the whole time, guys. We're, we're like talking all this shit. He's like, I can't believe you guys talk shit on me. The first day I met you, I've had the same skepticism, and I, I think I would be an idiot to not have it. It's like, how could I not be skeptical of the media? I mean, you've seen how much they've slandered me. So like, if your doc comes out and you're honest, I'll give you f props. I'm an honest guy. So you got to understand, I, I'm constantly on camera. I just say my thoughts out loud. I know you're listening. And I've never suggested, um, I don't think that you're a domestic terrorist. Well, that's um, good. But I, I do obviously um, have serious issues with aspects of what you uh, promote. Tell me what you're about. But you just literally said, there's thousands of hours yeah. of me on the internet, so you said you already know. 
No, so I'm asking what, you what you're about. I've but, got things I can take issue with where I was like, okay, I've got But what, okay, what don't you like, or what don't you like that I promote? Can we, well, you really want to do it that way around? Why don't you just tell me what you're about? Because I'm asking, I'm asking you that question first. So just tell me one thing that I promote that you don't oh, like. Oh, well. And, and then I'll move on. Begin. Free and easy use of the N-word. Okay. Highly charged, you know, term. Okay. Most people find it. I'm, I'm a real American patriot. I stand for free speech. I stand for the Constitution and the freedoms that have been lost in this country. Really, you know, it, it's, I'm sort of the last of a dying breed. Uh, you want you you okay with um, interracial relationships? Uh, I don't promote that, but um, you know, Nick's not. Yes. I don't. I don't think. I don't think that's a good thing to promote. I think people should, you know, kind of... Remote sounds like a loaded word in that context. You're either okay with them or you aren't, right? Like, do you, do you have a problem with them? Oh, really? Nick does. I mean, I think people should sort of stick with their tribe for the most part, but it, there's exceptions to every rule. Like, if there's, you know... What about women voting? I think, I mean, that will never happen, but if we were able to repeal the 19th, if we could repeal the 19th, absolutely, so I would vote women for that. Couldn't vote, you would prefer women not to vote? I would prefer vote. women don't vote, yeah. Are you okay with democracy? I think democracy is pretty cringe at this point. I mean, people are way too stupid to make decisions for themselves, you know? So who should be making the decisions? Um, I, higher educated people, not the general population. Do you think Jewish people have too much power? I don't know. Um, too much power. I think. I think Jewish power is a problem in America, definitely. In what way? Because they have a huge influence over the porn industry. Porn is terrible, Louis. It is terrible for our country. Louis, stop it. Bates is real. Exactly. I am black myself. That's Jamesus. Thank you. He's yeah, really that's black. one of my James black supporters. Black. He's really black. So I met James he supports what I believe in. And so you trying to frame America first and everything as white nationalism light, it's just not true. We have black people in our movement, dude. Hey, if, that's not white nationalism. The end that's the end of the story. We have black people in our movement. It's not white nationalism. Get over it. Why would black people be in our movement? Why would they support what we do? And other people, we have Hispanic people. It's not white nationalism. Yeah, there's all kinds of confused people, though, right? You ex grow our percent. Oh, you're calling them confused. About to cry. There you go. go easy on well, then that that's on you. I mean, I think so. You're you're calling the black Jewish Trump supporters, supporters and America first supporters. They're lost Jewish people. Jewish there you go again, telling Jewish black people what they should think. In 2019, you said um, you'd recently left the alt right and regretted ever contributing anything to that culture. Mm -hmm. You said I was So what does this have to do with live streaming? You said I was I thought you were interested in live streaming. No, you're just interested in your bullshit little agenda. No, this is a quote from no. you. I was just I'm a normal guy who liked memes and I got radicalized. No, that, you that's said about bullshit. your right career. No, it had no, been no, no, a no. Pretty big disaster to be honest. No, 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 no. Nah. Well you did say that. Huh? You did say that. That was a video written by my bitch ex girlfriend who uh, forced me to do that, so yeah, wasn't really but real. You said it. You must. Have, there must have been some part of you that thought that was. No, it it was when there was that shooting, the Chrysler shooting. Right. I I, I thought fifty one people were killed. Yeah, I thought that was not a good thing, and I thought that people that were putting, you know, the fourteen words and all these like crazy. What are the fourteen words? That's like shit that like Adam Waffen says. These like extremists, neo Nazis. Neo -Nazis. Yeah. And I don't represent that, so I wanted to... You've said the 14 words before. I have, yeah. Cool. Go on. Huh? What? Go on, and you... And so well, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, white people wanting to procreate and, and have more But your point was us? that in the aftermath of 51 people being killed, uh, Muslim people at prayer in their... I don't think it's good. I don't support violence. Yeah, Louis. I don't support so violence. So that made that shook you out of what your thinking was. And no, you, I told you it was a script by my ex-girlfriend who's crazy. She's bad crazy. But in a part of that was you thinking, okay, this is um, this is a dead end for me, right? No. Well, that's what you said. No, that's not what I said. In the quote. No, that's not what I said. You said it's been a disaster for my career and. No, you, no. I mean, I'm paraphrasing. You said uh, it 
It had been a pretty big No, here here over. you go with the manipulating again. It's not, here you, you go. To here you go to. with the manipulating again. Okay, so what's No, your point? no, you say you say, "Oh, it's not a hit piece. I want to know about streaming." You don't give a fuck about streaming. This is part no, of it's you not. Right. No, you said it's all you said it you said it's all out there. So the point is is like so you never thought that you actually you made gave a public statement that you never really meant, but then you said actually something happened after Christchurch where you thought, "Well, maybe I was something had changed." I think we should bring back the donos, guys. I think we should okay, bring back fine. the donos. All right, listen. Do you, can I make the bigger point, though, which is that I, I think for many people, they would see the language of you know, racial division as um, contributing to a climate where violent acts flourish. Lord Jesus Christ, God of all creation and Savior of mankind, please protect me, Alaska, and Amen. the America First Thank movement. You. Thank you, Kansas Amen. Sumer. Thank Christ you, Kansas King. Sumer. Hmm? What do you want to know? Why did you put the donuts back huh? on? Just because I was asking a tough question. Because you suck. No, it's not because of a tough question. Because you went back to manipulating. I tried to give you a chance. I didn't, I'm you went. You, you went. You went. You went no, question. you went straight to trying to call label me in America first as white nationalist, light, and all this dumb. Shit. And it's just like everyone can see through your fucking agenda. Labels. No, you're a piece of shit, dude. I gave you a chance. Anonymous and you're sent three dollars. You're a fucking punk. You're a lying piece of shit. And that's all you do. I tried to give you a chance to be real and genuine, but you're not a real what, human what? being. No, you're not capable of that, Louis. I'm asking you. You won't even question. say white boy summer because you're such a f***ing cuck. You won't say white boy summer, but you'll simp for black dudes and say black king summer because you hate white people. Okay? So why don't you get over yourself? Why don't you apologize for your f***ing ancestors from thousands of years ago? Because you're white, Louis. Aren't you? Are you? Aren't you white? Oh, why don't so why don't you apologize for who you are? Because you're a disgrace. Why am I a disgrace? Because you're white. Apparently, we should be guilty. We should feel terrible for being white, right? Right, Louis. We should bow yeah. down. You know, we we can't have a majority of white people because we'd have a great country with low crime. You said that you I just asked were you interested you in live streaming, but you're clearly not. We are live streaming right no, now. But you're not interested in that. You're interested in, in I, manipulating everything. I, if I'm not interested in it, why are we filming you doing it? Well, then pack it up. <laughs> pack what up? You're shit. What do you mean? You know. I don't. And I support Baked oh, Alaska. You're I floundering and about I being Alaska. a I'm wow. black and I support Baked you're Alaska. Wow. I say no, the you're associated with a no, you, you on camera associated with a you are a citizen. Three dollars, Louis. Are an Stop no. gaslighting. No. We are about that. Christ and yeah, the Yeah, but you're the one. Mean you're mean the one associated the with that. I help to expose. Why can't you point out or criticize every group? You've literally criticized white people, haven't you? Uh, probably in my life. I you literally just criticized white is. people earlier. So why can't we criticize people who are Jewish? Well, I don't know that I love to dump on white people. Yeah, you do. Why do you say that? Because we literally hear you do it. But I won't. What you won't say white boy summer. Well, that's because I think you're a white nationalist and it's become a white nationalist. Oh, wow, there we go. The media is radicalizing non white people to hate white countries and feel this? aggrieved by white this? people. They blow up stories like George Floyd, a criminal who overdosed on fentanyl, to weaponize these radicalized minorities against American society. <laughs> What, um, Hank Chills in three dollars. Like Louis, the first work for the FBI. Maybe. You're going to prison. You're Maybe going to prison. <laughs> you're going to prison. Well, but you have anger. A little bit, yeah. Why? I'm, I told you I'm going to therapy. Louis three dollars. Hi, Franca? my name hey, is yeah. Louis. I think Louis is about to cry. Please go easy on him. Yeah, he is. Louis Theroux was aroused when he starred in a gay porn. <laughs> I do. You you actually spoke about. Is this I remember you? being aroused as a child. I remember going to bed one night and you did a documentary on gay porn, I think it was, on BBC Two. It was at 10 o'clock at night. I was in bed. You, I remember what did putting you it on with, with the volume down, turning it off because I was scared my mum was going to walk in. Um, just being like, what's going on there? But yeah, Go I do remember that quite that, vividly. Did you, you have to do anything? anything? That would have been the first sexual? time that went out was 98. Well, could, you have been, there you go. could you have been 10 years old? There you go, 9, 10, yeah. What, was that I off the record? That vividly. That, no, you can keep that's it. Not, yeah, that's way on the record. That's but I do great. remember that. It's weird that you've just said that. Oh, you know, I remember that very vividly. I even remember the television in my bedroom. It was a small little portable TV with a red real push-in button until the button <laughs> Exposed! Button. And I remember got trying him. to turn it over if I heard like a creak, thinking, oh my God, my mum's going to go. You were watching on your own. 
Yeah, I was in bed. You were in bed. With the volume down. That was, was Troy, that Troy Halston was the name of the performer. I don't know if he's still performing. I remember. He was, the quote used was... Get, I just remember it like a log cabin It was a log cabin, exactly. It was, a, it so was, weird, a, it was called it. Take a Peek. Um, P-E-A-K. Does that sound right? And it was set in a log cabin where some gay guys were skiing. And then there was a jailbreak from a local jail. And the convict arrived. And you're making you're making and way more on me. It, it, all right, you're getting me going now. You'll, you'll make all, millions off this. It's the most extraordinary the thing that they all pause, start. Well, just, just pause it one minute and just say one last thing. Give us some kind of final Don't ruin call. it. For well, <laughs> you know. So I can't wait to, for hey, the day. No. Why, why are you? The media why are you trying to turn? It, he's trying to turn off his. The media gets Don't touch my dude. So why why is your guy touching my? You want me to touch your? Let me touch your. Huge fan. Yeah. You. Don't touch my anonymous in three dollars. Yeah, he touched my speaker at your local Walmart for everything. No, he's trying to turn off my speaker. Use code Floyd at your local Walmart for everything 100% off. Use code Floyd at your local Walmart for everything 100% off. We miss George Floyd. He was such a good guy. Why don't you box me? Because I don't want to. Yeah, because you're a. Fine. Why don't you put your money where your mouth is? Why don't you box Woozer if you want to box? No, because he's my friend. He's not a ace either, like you. You're seething now. No, you're you look seething. Like you're about to start crying. I, you, you keep know. using that. You're the one that's Why crying. Why are you so triggered? You're crying. You're he triggered. You're seething. His, you're projecting. He touched your mic and you, you, you were no, about to. He's trying to turn off my speaker. Come on, man. Okay. Keep it together. Where's the mic? What do we need? What do you need? An okay, we just need an ending. Where's? I don't even know where my mic is. So, dude, can I sort the mic out, please? Yeah. Right, thank you. Don't turn off my speaker. I'm not turning your speaker off, man. The mic is right here. Louis, why are you so triggered? Dude? Okay, we're gonna call it a night. All right. Uh, did you want to say any final words? Um, I mean, I think I've said everything I want to say. Um, we stand for the truth. We're real American patriots. We push the ads. We're edgy. We say things that other people are afraid to say. We're ten years ahead of the culture in a way. And um, I don't know. I guess you know. I hope you had a good time hanging out and. Uh, it was nice to meet you. I think you're still a very disingenuous uh, journalist manipulator, but I think you have, you know, you have a nice spirit to you, but you're, uh, I don't know, your games don't really fool me, but hopefully, you know, I you, uh, I mean, I've described that for like several days, so, so anyways, it was um, nice to meet you and, uh, you know, hopefully you make a good documentary out of it. So, all right, all right, see ya. To be honest, is, is, when's the hit piece coming? It's not a hit piece, it's, it's going to be a solid piece of journalism. I think we've been very straightforward with you. And it disappoints me a bit to hear you say that you think I've been disingenuous. Because you keep trying, you keep saying that you think I'm a white nationalist, but you see, I have all these great interactions with people that are not white. Therefore, your premise is destroyed, but you don't know what to do because you need to frame me as like some buzzword, evil well, there's caricature. Well, that. Like, I, I agree that in olden times, white nationalists didn't behave in that way. Right, so you want to say, oh, I'm the new type of white nationalist. That's not true. Why don't you go look at actual white nationalists and what they look like? They're fucking, you know, weirdo dorks with like, with like banner drops. I think you're a complicated package, and I think that uh, a lot of what you promote is really dangerous. And I think. You know, oh, what do you think is dangerous? I think promoting uh, racial separation, or, or, or however you want to define. When, when did I promote racial separation? The idea that you should really like race, racial mixing isn't. Really when did I promote idea. racial I mean, separation? That's what I'm just about to tell you. Wait, no, that's funny. Because if you were actually filming the stuff, you would see I was hanging out with everybody. Wow. We just so there was all of that. You yeah, know, but I'm you're not gonna put it. You're not gonna put it in your piece, though. I think we will. You I think, think you will. think what you saw of following <laughs> me around streaming and who I interact with that I support racial separation? In the sense of um, you're putting words in my mouth. Oh, not being on board with. Uh, no, I said I. My preference is white girls, pogs with fat asses. That's what I like. I want to be with a white girl because I want my kids to look like me. Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali, you know him? He wants his kids, he wanted his kids to look like him. Wow, what a crazy concept. Yeah, 
So it's not exclusively a white thing. Black pe lots of black people only want to be with black people. Lots of Asian people only want to be with Asian people. He's out of here. Okay. I went to a bar and got some. I found the coolest bar in Eboy. They do four. There we have it. Shots.